Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'm going to show you three different crochet edging and borders, including traditional, picture frame, and padded. I start all of my edgings with a slip knot and a contrasting color yarn. Then I slip stitch into the first stitch at the top of the work. And then I chain one, which won't count as a stitch. In this corner, I'm placing three half double crochet stitches. You can use anything else too, like single crochet, double crochet, or treble crochet. All corners will have the three stitches, but all sides will have just one half double crochet in each stitch across. Now on this corner, I do three half double crochet stitches. Along this edge, it's not very even, so I place my stitches as evenly possible along it. Since my main stitch is single crochet, I follow up the lines of the single crochet and place a stitch. Then I follow up spaces and place a stitch. And in the corner, three half double crochet stitches. Along the sides, just one half double crochet in each stitch across. Remember the three stitches in the next corner. And the stitches along the uneven side again. Slip stitch to complete. The traditional border is nice, but has some uneven stitches. We can easily make a picture frame edging that has nice clean sides. We'll start off the same way, but instead of larger stitches, we'll do slip stitches. Try to make slip stitches as evenly as possible along the top edge. Now on our uneven side, we'll make slip stitches or surface crochet. As evenly as possible and in a straight line as possible. It won't be perfect, but it'll be close. Then we'll do slip stitches along the original bottom chain edge of my work. And then down the other side as well. I'm slip stitching to the first slip stitch, but using the back loops only from now on. And here's our frame. Now we do the same thing as we did in the traditional border except we make all of our stitches using the back loops only of that surface crochet slip stitch framing. So sides get one stitch and corners get three stitches. Again, use only the back loops. And that's how to do a picture frame. The back has a little bit of stitching around it, which you may or may not like. If you do not like this, we can do the very same surface crochet along the back side of the work.
Then do our entire edging and border again. Remembering the three stitches in corners and one stitch along sides and using the back loops. Now we have a two layer border. We can single crochet along the top edge, connecting both pieces together. And this forms a very nice padded border, almost like a quilt binding edge. It looks the same on both sides. And that's it. These are three main ways I create basic crochet border edgings. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new videos from me each week. And if you liked the video you just watched, be sure to check out my next video, which I think you'll like very much.